Hello, Greg. My name is AJ, and I just want to start by telling you what a fantastic job I think that you have done by building the CRC Revenge. I think um, you've you've done something that nobody else has done there, and I think it's incredibly valuable for those of us that are trying to um, reverse engineer various things. And I have uh, a unique uh, challenge that I'm hoping that you can help me with. So um, I think uh, let me explain here. I am trying to reverse engineer the um, the data on 35 year old data cartridges called QIC cartridges for a specific machine that's long since gone out of existence. The reason that I want to use CRC Revenge is because the uh, data block format on these tapes actually has a cyclic redundancy check at the end. and um, these are written in a format that has been, before my web page here, has been completely undocumented anywhere, uh, with the exception of a manual for what seems to be the um, tape drive model that this machine used. But I don't even know that because we don't have it, and uh, I'm just guessing. But the uh, reverse engineering of the cyclic redundancy check is what I'm needing some help with. Now, your product works absolutely fantastic on um, on other models. CRC Revenge works absolutely fantastically using um, uh, the CRCs from newer or different format uh, QIC cartridges. And I'm going to demonstrate that here in a moment as well as the problem that I'm having. So I've built a, 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 a universal uh, QIC cartridge reader that's agnostic of format and now I'm writing programs that basically dissects the entire format and all of the data within which is quite the undertaking for me. Um, <clears throat> I should also uh, go on to say that I'm completely new to uh, CRC encoding and CRC checks as, as of a few months ago. Um, I knew it existed but didn't know anything about it so um, there may be some I'm, I'm hoping that there's things that you know and as an expert in this field that, that I, I'm just missing. But here is an example of how I'm successfully using this and uh, where the challenge is. So on another tape format that I have uh, decoded and uh, broken down uh, called QIC24 and QIC11, um, the, the cyclic redundancy check, the, uh, the CRC is calculated over a different amount of data. And so I'm going to start by showing you what I can use uh, CRC Revenge very successfully for to reverse engineer something that uh, I already actually know and have figured out. That's the, uh, the CRC from the QIC 11 and QIC 24 tapes. Here is an example of some of the data reads that I've done on, these, uh, on QIC 11 tapes. And <clears throat> this is a text file that my program has created after reading the um, data pulses that come right off of the, uh, the, the tape cartridge. My program um, here has successfully identified the correct um, bytes, nibbles, bits if you will. Um, I can go into, in a different video, I go into how I uh, created all of this, but I won't bore you with that right now. Um, basically, this is an example of one block of data on a QIC 11 cartridge and then that is the block number and then those four items right there is the CRC and um, it's fairly well documented that the um, what the polynomial is for calculating the CRC in, in documentation that exists for this format it's the uh, well, I don't even know how to, how to say it because I'm so new to this so I'll show it to you. And, and actually, I'm just going to let your CRC Revenge show me what it is. And so here we go. Um, I have CRC Revenge running here, or at least I've, I, I, using Windows 7, I've gone to a command prompt, and I'm in the directory where CRC Revenge is. And what I've done is I have set up a text file here that helps me copy and paste the command in because these blocks are very long. I'm going right now I have uh, I have word wrap off. If I were to put word wrap on, we would see that I shouldn't have done that because that just takes way too long. <laughs>
we would see that these blocks are quite long. Uh, this is 512 bytes of data. Every one of these is 512 bytes of data. And that means that with each hexadecimal character making up a nibble, that they are uh, 1,024 characters in length. Now, this works just fine. I'm going to unwrap the word wrap again so that I can actually look at look at this the way it really is. I'll tell you what, I'll put word wrap on this one so that it makes a little more sense. It doesn't have that delay in displaying everything. I'm going to pick a block at random here. Let's say when it looks fairly interesting, like this one. Okay. So, I'm going to copy that over here so that I put it after the commands that I want to enter in the, um, in the command prompt on my Windows machine. And I guess I'll check off word wrap so that I can make sure that, that works right. Uh, Notepad still wraps even if you take word wrap off after, I think, 1,024 characters. So, we can see exactly how long this string is. It's 1,024 characters plus this many. So, um, I believe that this uh, this parameter, this message plus CRC, is formatted correctly, uh, where the CRC is EE1A, EE1A, hexadecimal there. And so I have the message immediately followed by the CRC result. Okay, so... Basically, I'm going to paste this into the. I'm going to I'm going to copy and paste this into the command prompt that has CRC revenge in it, and we're going to see if it finds uh, the suggested reverse engineered, you know, suggested uh, CRC models for this. And so here we go. Just going to do a paste right here. No, I guess that doesn't work. I have to right click, edit, and paste. All right. And so I've pasted that full thing in there, and it appears that the whole thing has gone in. The last few characters are 9EE1A. Very good, 9EE1A. So I'm going to hit Enter on this and see what it comes up with. And it comes up with one polynomial, which is 0x1021. And that is exactly what it's supposed to be. So kudos here. Fantastic work, uh, because this found it in the first try. And every one of these that I try, it comes up with the same thing, which tells me that uh, um, not only is the CRC correct on these, you know, the, but uh, this is this is working very well on the first try. Um, it's the polynomial x to the 16th, x to the 12th, x to the 5th plus 1. Um, and only recently did I learn how that translates into both a binary and, and hexadecimal digit. Um, and so that is absolutely correct. Uh, hexadecimal 1021 right there and uh, the initialization being all ones this is something that somebody else helped me figure out um, because I didn't understand initialization and all of these parameters are still a little bit Greek to me but basically what I'm wanting to get to is this now all of this is a demonstration of what works well so far so thank you I'm giving you an applause for this because I think it's absolutely fantastic now here is the challenge that I'm having there is another tape format that is um, much less desirable, but it, uh, it, it's on some tapes that I really want to read. I think it's around the same age as QIC 11, uh, maybe a little bit older, but it's proprietary. And instead of the data block being 512 bytes long, the data blocks in these are either 4,096 bytes long or 8,192 bytes long. And so that, of course, is a, is a multiple of 8 or 16 from the demonstration that I just did. 8 or, eight or 16 times the length of data that the CRC uh, needs to check across. So, at least that's what I'm guessing so far. So let me show you an example of one of those. All right, here that is. Now, it may look like, see how long these things are? It may look like I didn't turn word wrap off, but word wrap is off. This they are really this long. So uh, this is one of those ones that's uh, 80, 96 bytes long, and so in uh, in in hexadecimal characters, that's actually 16,384 characters. I'm not going to start with one of those. I'm going to start with the shorter one. 
Well, here's a shorter one right here. This shorter one is 4,096 bytes in length, and that's as short as they get. I can't find any blocks on this tape uh, or any of these tapes that I'm reading that are in this format that are any have blocks that are any shorter than 4,096 bytes, which means, or excuse, excuse me, yeah, 4,096 bytes, which means that, you know, my character limit that, that I have to put in or the character length that I have to put in as a parameter is... 8,192 characters before I specify the uh, the four digits uh, or or 16 bit CRC code, right? And so that's what we have here. Now I have set up a test across a couple of different machines, and I'm going to show you the results that I get. And I'm hoping you can help me find a workaround. Okay, so what I've done here is I've modified this text file that has these uh, hexadecimal characters in it so that it has the command uh, in there uh, so that I can just paste it into the command prompt uh, here in this uh, in this Windows command window. All right, so I'm going to start with this block. And by the way, I've removed all of the characters that uh, are markers or separators or anything like that. So this should just be the pure hexadecimal uh, block of uh, 4096 bytes or 8196 hexadecimal characters plus the uh, plus the two byte or four hexadecimal character CRC after that. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to copy this whole thing right there and paste it in here and hope for the best. Okay, now. It, pay, it pasted all this, it filled up the screen, and it said, revenge, no models found. But in this case, it didn't even get all of it. Because here I can clearly see that the last few digits of this, even after all of these zeros, was the, heck, was the CRC of 722A, right? But it ended before that. So just in the, just in the, in the process of me pasting these 8,192 characters plus 4, uh, and plus the command characters, it was concatenated, probably by the Windows, you know, command window user interface. Okay, well that's not the end of my story because I found a workaround. Here I'll find something a little bit more interesting just so that we can see that. I, I figured out that it, it 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 cut it off about halfway through. It it only got about halfway through this, maybe maybe two thirds through this before it, it ended, right? So here the last four digits are 5091. It didn't even get that far. Okay, so I thought, well, Windows is a limitation. Let's try a Linux machine, modern Linux machine. Maybe I won't have a graphic user interface uh, limitation on that. And so let me show you what that looks like. So over here on this Linux machine, I've done the same thing where I have uh, moved this file over and I edited <clears throat> this file that has uh, these very long uh, 8,196 plus uh, hexadecimal character uh, uh, parameters in it. And so I thought, well, maybe I'm going to have a little bit more uh, success here on Linux. So um, let me try doing the same thing here. Now this is this is a uh, modern uh, Linux Ubuntu, and so um, this is uh, their version of, of of Notepad, which I think is Mousepad, um, and it's not showing all these extra lines because evidently it doesn't wrap but that's just the you know the display here so but there's really really long long uh, uh, 8,000 uh, character string is still here so I'm gonna copy this and go over here and basically um, I am going to paste this in and see what uh, what CRC Revenge does here. And there it goes. More, 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 more. And it's working. It's pasting. Aha! Revenge, no models found. Now, this time, it did better than the Windows machine, where it actually got all the way through to the end. So the end of this is the check digit, 722A. Uh, not the check digits, but the CRC results, 722A. And that's what it found. Now, here's what I don't know. Is it really working? In other words, this 
parameter is so long, even though this 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 Linux GUI is displaying all um, all um, 8192 plus a few characters, is it is it really not finding anything because it's calculating the whole thing, or is it uh, somehow concatenating that inside of your program, um, or is there something else going on that I just don't understand? But the bottom line is, I would really love to be able to reverse engineer whatever uh, whatever polynomial CRC model was used to create these CRCs on these particular on these particular blocks of data, which are a minimum of 4096 bytes in length. And so I'll try this again just just for good demonstration, but I know by now you've already gotten the point. It goes I wanted to try a more interesting block of data that wasn't all zeros. There. Same exact thing. And the last four, uh, the, the, the check digit there is 5,091, or the CRC there is 5,091. Let's make sure that that's really what I pasted in. Yes, 5,091. And I look at this fairly closely to figure out that, yes, it, it is actually at least displaying the whole thing. Uh, 4820509. Or eight two zero five zero nine one. Okay, so Greg, if you have any ideas on how uh, I might work around this issue or find a way to basically re uh, reverse engineer whatever uh, CRC model was used to create these things on this very very um, old, antiquated, and now extinct um, uh, hardware, um, I would be very grateful. I really appreciate uh, what you've done so far and. Uh, a download of this long byte file is going to be uh, in the description underneath this YouTube video. So if you could just click that, you could actually download that, uh, the very long message with the CRC. Um, and I'm going to give you both versions there, both the version where I've added the um, with the Re RevEng command prompts uh, ahead of that, as well as the untouched one, which is exactly how as my, as my program spits it out to me. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.